All right, let's talk Taylor Heineke, why don't we? I thought he played well against the Giants. I thought this is one of his better games. You know, I've talked a lot about Heineke uh, and how I'm maybe not as high on him as other people are, but I still think there's things he does well. Uh, in this game, I thought he did some things well. For one thing, they're able to just kind of scheme guys open relatively well. Uh, this is going to be a play to get Brian Robinson, actually, the running back open, where it's a man coverage play, but you have the three eligible receivers on the offense's left who are going to be running sort of deeper routes and routes over the middle. Basically, routes that are going to not be where Brian Robinson is eventually going to be. So when Robinson eventually gets there, hopefully he'll be able to get past the linebacker and get open with some open space. Look at how when this play begins, that's pretty much exactly what happens. You get an opportunity to make a throw. Heineke does a pretty good job at this stuff. Again, the, just the, the running and offense thing, he, I feel like he does a solid job at. Watch, he, you know, hits Robinson. He's someone who makes the layups, right? He makes the easy stuff look easy, and there's definitely some value in that with a guy like Heineke, and that's part of why, you know, again, I think the reason why the, uh, the Washington football team has really started winning since he's been there is just the defense took a big step forward kind of coincidentally. I think that's what happened. I said it on another video, but, you know, uh, the EPA when Carson Wentz was out there defensively was 14th best in football. It just jumped up to second best in football with uh, Heineke out there, and, and that accounts for, like, you know, uh, interceptions that put the defense in a tough spot and all that stuff. But still, there's some nice things that Heineke is able to do. Like, something like this, uh, you know, unironically, I think one of the best things he does is just hits Terry McLaurin a lot. Like, I know that sounds almost like an insult of like, oh, you just throw it up to your best player. Hey, that's what you should do, and Washington even game plans for that. Again, this is going to be essentially the exact same concept we saw last time, but just a slight difference being that it's a receiver getting over to the other side instead of a halfback, and that receiver is Terry McLaurin, who is obviously an amazing wide receiver. Again, Washington's going to run this play. This time, McLaurin gets more open than Robinson did, because again, this is uh, McLaurin's job is to get open on these types of plays. He's amazing at it, and so this is the play that you expect Heineke to hit, and once again, Heineke makes the layup, right? He he makes the throw he should make, and then uh, Terry McLaurin does the rest. So at the end of the day, you know, you don't need Heineke to be the offense. That's not what this Washington team needs. If they're going to make the playoffs, they don't need a superstar quarterback. They just need someone who can be an aspect of the offense, who can be a part of the offense, and that is something that Heineke has been able to do since he's been with Washington. Going over here, I, I do still feel like, you know, there's some issues. There are. I still feel like when he has to make tough plays, he doesn't do it very consistently. That's just what I see when I watch his tape. And this is an example. It's a zone coverage play. You have a player who's going to be trying to get into a gap in coverage, kind of underneath the corner and safety, but past the linebackers. That's the way this play is designed to work. As you see, Heineke runs a play action, which gets the linebackers to move in a little, does a decent job there. Now you have an opportunity to make this throw. It's not an easy throw. I'm not sure. This is not a layup, right? This is uh, maybe not, a, maybe, I don't know, uh, maybe a long two, perhaps. Maybe that's where we're at. It's a throw that you're going to have to time up perfectly. Although the nice thing is you do have plenty of space. You know, you're not under pressure at all. So again, uh, not easy to for sure know that. You don't see everything around you. You don't have eyes, you know, on the side of your head, but you know you have a little bit of room to make this throw. Ideally, what you should probably do is wait a little bit and then make the throw. Uh, it seems like that's what kind of what Heineke does. But look, as you see, he just overthrows it. And in that situation, better to overthrow it than underthrow it. And I'm sure that was part of it, but that one was that one was too off. Like he didn't even give his receiver a chance on that play, which you would have liked to see him have a chance. So because of that, you know, again, there's some plays that every game when I watch Heineke, I see this stuff. This stuff exists. He is, he's not Tom Brady and no one's claiming he is, right? But this one's another one of just kind of a, a tough play that he's not quite able to pull off. It's going to be a zone coverage play that they're going up against. You see the receiver running a route that, you know, again, could definitely get open. It's kind of very similar to that last play, kind of get uh, in a bubble and coverage. You also do have a play action as well on this one to move linebackers in. Look at how when Heineke takes the snap, Heineke is going to look down the field and you get to a point right here where, you know, there's an opportunity to make this throw. Now, this one is different than the last one. This one is more open than the last one. You know, just lob one up towards the outside of numbers and it's going to be a completion, but it's more difficult because he's under pressure. So there's a benefit and a disadvantage going on right now with Heineke. So again, tough play. I'm not trying to sit here and say this is one that you have to make. I'm trying to sit here and say when he has to go above and beyond, doesn't quite have the highest hit rate on those. Watch as he on this play, you know, throws an uncatchable ball right there. And at the end of the day, if you're throwing uncatchable balls where no one can catch them, 
you know, there's worse traits to have as a quarterback than that is at least what I think. But I do think it's still fair to point these out and say like, yeah, I don't see him making these throws. Again, if we're trying to evaluate how he is as a quarterback, he doesn't really do that. And maybe they don't tie the game if he does do those, make those throws. But let's finish off with a positive. I do want to bring up one more good play that he can do. Again, kind of a simpler play. You have a receiver who's going to be running a route that's going to just try and get into a gap in coverage. So again, kind of similar to some of that, some of those other plays I showed you. You do once again have a play action here, but there's not really any setup route here. It's very much mostly just a try and get open, but can still work. And in fact, when you see this play develop, it is in fact working. You get a bubble, you get an opportunity to make this throw. And again, like I said, make the layups, right? As you see, that's exactly what Heineke does. He is able to make that layup and they are able to get a chunk play. So again, you have good receivers. So you're going to be able to get this stuff somewhat consistently you are going to be able to get the ball to talented receivers and you know you're gonna have opportunities to make those throws and Carson Wentz I think kind of part of why Heineke fits this team a little better in my opinion is because he does just kind of make the throw when someone gets open he does just kind of say okay this is the opportunity he will just throw up jump balls to Terry McLaurin or even to the ref sometimes right uh, in that Vikings game like this is kind of what he will uh, do and because of that I think that it works better given the, the fit that he's in. He fits this offense relatively well, and I think that's part of why, you know, even though I want to sit here and discredit some of the reason why they've been winning with him, which I think is fair, you still have seen the offensive numbers go up when he's been out there. You know, the advanced numbers aren't like massively up, but up a few spots, which is still, hey, that's an upgrade, right? You'll take that. You'll take him playing solid. Again, I don't think that this is a long-term answer with, uh, with Taylor Heineke. I don't. I think that uh, you, know, you should still look for a quarterback in the offseason if you can get one. But at the same time, I do think that he is someone who has done enough this season to where they're probably a team that could potentially, I, I think they're making the playoffs. I, I do have them as a playoff team. I certainly think they're better than the Giants. And I do think that while Heineke isn't necessarily the driving force in it, if he can just do this stuff, right if he can play as well as he did in this game which is still make some throws but you know what no interceptions putting the ball to where your receivers can catch it making the easy throws and making the layups you can win football games in that way can you win a Super Bowl that way well I mean you can right you could potentially do that I think it'd be very difficult to do that but there is the opportunity of doing that and again uh, getting into the playoffs, I feel like that that just helps with everything. Helps with you know getting free agents in the off season. Helps getting guys to resign. All that good stuff, especially when it's it's Washington. Teams aren't you know players aren't necessarily you know wanting to sign there. Not you know just because of the the owner and all that stuff. However, if you can continue to win, that's how it can work. And I think Heineke does a lot of the a lot of the good stuff that you you like to see from a from a young quarterback he's able to do it and he's not that young at this point but you know from a quarterback we haven't seen play a lot he does play like an NFL player and he knows he understands the assignment knows what he has to do and is able to do that consistently would like to see some of those missed throws not happen as much but he just he doesn't have the arm talent that some other guys do he just doesn't like that's just again some people will argue with me about this stuff I mean this is every video where I ever criticize anybody uh you know people in the comments say actually you're wrong he's amazing at this actually it's the receiver's fault all that stuff the way I see this is that's, you know, I just, I watch the film, I tell you what I think, and that's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What are your thoughts on Taylor Heineke? Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.